This is Eve Audio, my name is Peter and welcome to Tech Talk. Today we are going to talk about analog and digital signals and take a look at a typical signal flow in Eve Audio monitors. In the real world everything we can sense can be seen as analog, like colors or sound for example. There is an infinite number of continuous values an analog signal can be if you break it down further and further. A digital signal, on the other hand, can only display a finite set of limited values. You can imagine it like recording a video. The objects in the real world that you are recording can be seen as an analog signal, whereas the camera itself only records still images that only display that particular moment they are taken in. But a digital signal can also represent an analog signal, by taking the still images in tiny steps with very little gaps in between. Taking the video recording as an example again, if the frame rate of the video is high enough, the still images make it look like a fluent video and the human eye cannot tell that it's made of singular images. But what is a signal? A signal is a quantity that varies over time to convey information. So in our case that quantity is the voltage level, which changes over time and conveys in the end acoustic information, which is the music that comes out of the speaker. In our electronics we have to deal with both signals, analog and digital. The monitors have a high quality analog input stage and a high resolution analog to digital converter. The sampling process delivers a quantized signal with a certain bit depth of 16 or 24 bits and the bit depth has an effect on the noise floor of the output level. In other words, on the maximum possible dynamic range that can be mapped. A dynamic range of 69 decibel can be mapped with 16 bit and 144 decibel with 24 bit. We quantize with a depth of 24 bit. After processing the signal in DSP, a pulse width modulated signal is delivered to the amplifiers and then directed to the woofers as an analog signal. Electronic parts treat analog and digital signals kind of like different languages. Some only understand one of them, some can understand both and there are parts that translate from one into the other. These parts are called AD converters or DA converters and an AD converter is integrated in our monitors in front of the DSP unit. But why is a deconversion made anyway? Why not just leave the signal analog? Well, because in the digital domain, much more extensive settings and adjustments of the filters and the signal processing in general, like gain or filtering, limiting, delay, are possible while being far more efficient with much less circuitry effort. And with today's state of the art and the speed of digital signal processors, that is possible with no noticeable time delay. It is commonly misconceived that an analog to digital and back to analog converted signal is distorted or reproduced differently than the original analog input signal. This is correct in bad designs only. As long as the nyquist shannon sampling theorem is not violated, the ADDA converted signal will be exactly the same as the analog input signal in a defined frequency range. The Nyquist theorem says that the maximum possible playback frequency must be less than half the sampling frequency. So if you want to reproduce a signal up to 20 kHz, which is kind of the upper edge of the normal human hearing range, you would have to sample with at least 40 kHz. For example, a typical sampling rate of the CD is at 44.1 kHz. We sample at 192 kHz, which is already a lot higher than what you need for 20 kHz, and the DSP section even runs at 384 kHz. To avoid that the drivers suffer from the sampling frequency, an anti-aliasing low-pass filter is used, which cuts off everything above the cutoff frequency. In EVE audio monitors, you can see the advantages of both worlds, analog and digital combined, to achieve the best quality output. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and please consider subscribing to our channel so you won't miss out on any upcoming videos. 
If you have a question left or a topic that you would like to hear about, just let us know in the comments. We hope you have a great time with EVE Audio Monitors. Thank you for watching and keep mixing.